Good evening, I'm Alexis Fernandez. A big chunk of the last frontier is still on fire tonight. Three wildfires have now blackened nearly 100,000 acres. As Kenai residents prepare to abandon their homes, people much farther away continue to feel the effects of the flames. Good evening. At, at this hour, hundreds of firefighters continue to battle three different blazes in southern Alaska. The largest is the Funny River Fire. It's charred nearly 97,000 acres in the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge. The Tionic Fire is burning along northwestern Cook Inlet, and the Dalton River crossing fire is blackening land along the Yukon River. Our continuing coverage begins in the Kenai Wildlife Refuge. That's where more than 400 firefighters from Alaska, the Lower 48, and Canada are teaming up in hopes of defeating the Funny River Fire. It's also where some people who call the Kenai Peninsula home are bracing for evacuations. KTVA 11 Charlotte Green joins us from Soldatna with our story. Charlotte. Well, Alexis, the residents I spoke with say the thought of the fire inching toward their homes keeps them up at night and has been all week. And the uncertainty surrounding the fire's growth adds to the stressful situation. They say they were given little warning, yet residents of the Cardwell subdivision of Kasilov were prepared. Lots of people up on Facebook all night. Uh, chatting with one another and giving updates. Kasilov youth pastor Jeff Carter says he went from house to house checking in on his neighbors when the 1 a.m. evacuation order for their 50 homes went out. A lot of community, a lot of camaraderie uh, between each other. Uh, neighbors help neighbors. The army of firefighters attacking the near 100,000 acre blaze continues to expand. We currently have 450 personnel working on the fire. It's growing every day. And the residents whose homes these firefighters are working to protect say they want to enlist to help beat back these flames too. I always say that Rambo would have been a cook in the Casilla Army. I mean, just, these people are just that tough. It's amazing how communities pull together when there's a threat of any kind. Kasilov resident Tammy Westover has been advising her neighbors on what they can do themselves to protect their homes. Start pre-wetting uh, the area around your property. And she'd know, as a former Division of Forestry Wildlife Fire Prevention Officer herself. Get the wood out from underneath your decks. Don't have anything that can bring your house down laying around your house. As this thick shelf of smoke and uncertainty continues to hover above the Kenai Peninsula, these residents say they find comfort in knowing their neighbors. And we'll be okay as long as we have each other. And now fire officials say that the fire is being fueled by fast winds that are shifting in all directions and by the dry conditions out here. They do have a 20% contained and they are expecting even more personnel and equipment to help them continue battling this fire.